Hello, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade parents and students. Uh, this is Mr. Colander here, checking in with the same backdrop that Mr. Wade, Mrs. Colander, and myself introduced ourselves to you just a few months ago. And look how far we've come in those few months. Uh, we've made it an entire quarter of the way through the school year. And even though it was online, uh, a lot of you did really well, and we appreciate your hard work. Um, and this video is for those of you who did really well and for those of you who struggled. Uh, these, these are some tips and guidelines we want to give you uh, as students, as parents, on how to keep up with the, with the workload as we're going to be online for at least another quarter. Uh, now there is a chance, don't take this as a guarantee, but there is a chance we may be able to have some one-on-one -on -one meetings uh, with students. Uh, we'll see about that. We'll let you know. Uh, in this video, though, we just want to share some some updates uh, as teachers uh, about ways we want to improve and make the experience better for you this second quarter. So Mrs. Colander and Mr. Wade are going to say a few words after I do. Uh, but I just wanted to say uh, on the topic of general communication, you know, keep staying in touch with us. Some of you are great at that and others not so much. Um, but if, if you're going to be out of town for a few days, let us know. Or if there's a funeral or if uh, there's a doctor visit or something, let us know because we don't get notes from the office because we're not in school. Uh, so you got to let us know. Text, email, Edmodo message, something. Uh, and Mrs. Colander will expand on that. Another thing with, with Zoom meetings that she's going to talk about, just if you haven't been able to get on the Zoom meetings because of a technical issue, uh, don't be afraid to ask to schedule a test Zoom uh, with one of us, and we'll see if we can work those issues out before uh, Friday. Uh, last thing on my part is this quarter, uh, the three teachers, we are going to start doing a weekly newsletter that will allow you to stay up to date on what your child is learning uh, every week in each class. And this newsletter, it's all going to be on one uh, document for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, uh, but we'll make sure to separate the sections, 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. And it'll be a kind of a fun way to see uh, what you're learning or if you're a student to you know go over oh I should have I should do that I should make sure I did that or we might have some announcements in there too so every Friday that newsletter will be posted on Enmodo but there's one other way to get to it and that is if you go to our website eastforklutheranschool.org you can also get there by efschool.org and then you go click on the our school at the top and we'll let this load here And the R School page looks like this, and you can, oh, excuse me, you can scroll down here to the Meet Our Teachers section, and if you click on any one of the three of us, Mr. Wade, Mrs. Colander, or myself, click on our picture, and then you'll see over on the right side will be that link that says 6 to 8 Newsletter. You're just going to click that, and that'll open up the document containing the newsletter. Uh, note, this, this document will have the uh, date listed uh, for the week that the newsletter is for because we're going to keep all the newsletters in the same document so that you can go back uh, if you have to do so. So that's all I have for you. Uh, check the newsletter um, by either going to the website or the Edmodo link every Friday. It'll be there. Keep communicating with us. We're going to have a great second quarter. All right, so I'm going to talk to you uh, about just a couple of things. The first one being attendance. So as Mr. Colander said, uh, let us know if for some reason you are not going to be able to log in, but there's a wellness check every day on Edmodo. So you'll complete that for your class. So sixth grade completes the sixth grade one and so on. And then this lets us know that you checked in, but it also lets us know how your day is going. So there's four different options. Maybe you're having a great day, maybe not so much. Uh, but so that lets us know, and maybe if you're having a bad day, we can, uh, get in touch with you and just see how everything is going. Uh, and only us teachers can see that. None of the students can see who selected what. But so if you don't check in, then we assume that you didn't log in and therefore you are absent. Unless you let us know you have a doctor's appointment or a funeral or you're out of town or for whatever reason. So just, again, make sure you're letting us know about that. 
The next thing is going to be Zoom meetings. So right now we're doing joint meetings between 6th, 7th, and 8th grade with all three of us teachers, and those are on Fridays. So a lot of students um, weren't getting on, but if that happens, then it's possible we will go to uh, individual grade meetings on different days than Friday. The information for the Zoom meeting is posted every Friday morning, and they're at 11 unless we say otherwise. But as Mr. Colander said, if you're having issues, try and schedule that test meeting with somebody so we can find out what the problem is. And the last thing that I just wanted to talk to you about is grades. So checking grades uh, can be done basically at any time. It's on GradeLink, you have the logins. If you don't, let us know because we can get you them. But generally we update them weekly, sometimes more often, it just depends. And you can ask whether you're a student or parent if there's a question on a grade, why it's, um, it is what it is, or if there's a missing assignment and you thought you did it, just ask. Um, but typically after an assignment is graded, if a student didn't complete it, it's marked as incomplete, which is a zero. So a lot of that was happening last quarter. Hopefully we can start fresh and not let that happen too much this quarter. But if you don't complete one, get it done as soon as possible. And then also regular messages will be sent out from the teachers or some type of message stating what your missing work is or who is missing work. And then finally, if your student is struggling or if you as the student are struggling, don't be afraid to ask for help and please ask for it as soon as possible. Because if you wait until three weeks after the assignment, it's not going to be as helpful if you ask the next day or the same day. Uh, all three of us are available between eight and three every weekday for help and questions if you have them, and maybe you're just not getting something, but it's okay to ask for help. Of course, okay. All right. Well, everyone, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders and parents, welcome to the second quarter. Second quarter is, well, it's a fresh start. It's a clean slate of grades. <clears throat> it's a new beginning. That's what the second quarter offers you. Maybe you were happy with your, your first quarter grades, or maybe you were disappointed. Um, maybe you enjoy online learning, and, and maybe you don't. Um, maybe you're happy to have only three hours of study each day um, with the online version. Or maybe you'd rather be at school sitting in a desk for six or seven hours each day uh, to be with your friends. But the reality is we have another quarter of online learning. COVID hasn't gone away, <clears throat> and the second quarter will be just like the first. So, <clears throat> listen up. Um, maybe let's just start with this. Um, you have three teachers who are excited to be at East Fork Lutheran School teaching you. I mean, um, Mrs. Colander is way cool. And Mr. Colander <clears throat> is awesome with a capital A. And um, me, well, maybe I have a few cobwebs on my brain, but I know what you need to know in order to be successful um, in the future. And we're working really hard <clears throat> to have interesting educational online lessons for you every day. And we're asking you to do the same, to work really hard every day, to put in the time where it's three hours, um, you know, get logged in. And here's some of the keys now to put aside all the distractions. Maybe is it your phone with your friends? Uh, distraction might be video games. Maybe it's uh, pets, which I love pets too but maybe not during study time, learning time. Uh, maybe it's a younger brother or sister or siblings or whatever. Um, but we want you to put those distractions aside and give it your very best effort every day. And the results can be amazing. Um, when you get frustrated, boys and girls, um, if you get stuck, like the other two teachers said, we're always here to help. And... Um, <clears throat> One of the keys that, that we, we find rather amusing that, that we, we have to stress to you yet before I'm done is please watch the videos 
before you try to do the assignments. Most of the videos are not very long and they're extremely helpful. They make a huge difference in your grade and we always know whether you really watch the video or not because we usually put one baby question on there that if you watch the video, you obviously would get right. <laughs> so um, at any rate, um, I know it's, it's, a, it's a temptation to take shortcuts, guys, but um, if, you, if you really want to give it your best effort, it's important that you do watch the videos. And there's a great variety of, of things that we come up with. And, um, and, and they, they actually um, are most of the time quite interesting as well. Parents, um, as for you, um, we look forward to contacting you very soon then via phone to discuss um, your child's progress and to come up with whatever game plan we need to to help your child be successful in this quarter. And, and parents, my other reminder to you is to remember, and this is powerful stuff, to remember to pray for your child every day. Pray for your kids to be successful in their schooling during this difficult time. And as we've seen in the past, God blesses those prayers. So um, you, have our, you have our phone numbers. You have a way of messaging us on Edmodo. You have um, uh, the ability to text us every day, and we invite that. If, if We've made some great progress with families because they contacted us and we ironed a few things out. And that So communication is, is critically important. All right. I guess we're done for now. And um, we look forward to seeing those kids um, online um, in our Zoom meetings. And we look forward to seeing the results of their, of their really good work um, each and every day. Thanks.